Tarzan of the Apes from the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs. With Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jane Porter. This is an American Gold Seal production released by the World Broadcasting System and Associated Stations. Tarzan has learned that Jane has been kidnapped by pirates and taken aboard the pirate ship Arrow. He plunges into the sea and swims alone to the ship. Jane, from the porthole of the cabin where she is a prisoner, throws Tarzan a rope of sheets, and the ape man boards the ship. Between them, Tarzan and Jane liberate Tracy, the imprisoned captain. The three take refuge in a wheelhouse. But Snipes, the leader of the mutineers, cuts loose a derrick boom, and it crashes through the wheelhouse. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath. Jane, all right? Are you all right, Captain Tracy? Oh, I'm hit one of those flying timbers. I think my left arm's broken. Come on, Come on. Dime, that silver broker, or you're on deck. You'd better run for it, Miss Porter. Come, Jane. We go over into water. Yes, yes, I guess it's our only hope. Oh, but we can't leave you here, Captain Tracy. Oh, I, I, I'll be all right. In you go. Now, then, we must take Captain Tracy with us. No, no, that's out of the question. My arm's broken. At least I can't swim with it. It'd only drag you down. Armand Ganny, make rush in a minute. Come on, Jane. Oh, that water looks so black and cold. No, afraid. Tarzan, take you safe ashore. Oh, oh, hurry. I'll cover your retreat. I've got this gun you gave me. Yes, yes, I suppose we must go. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye, and good luck. Come on, you bloke. After him. Snipes and his crew rush forward. Tarzan sweeps Jane off her feet and springs to the rail. Balancing a moment, he hurls himself far out and down into the frothing, boiling water below. They strike the water. Tarzan releases Jane and tells her to place her hands on his shoulders. She nods her head. Tarzan, with long, powerful strokes, makes for the shore. Lost him, they jumped overboard. Shoot at him, then. Over this way. Jane feels the muscles ripple beneath the ape man's brawny shoulders. She thrills to the power. Boiling sea lashes and whips them about in the fury of the choppy waves. Tarzan rapidly pulls away from the spot where the vicious spat of bullets tells that the crew are desperately trying to kill them. Jane feels the speed slacken. What's the matter? Shark. Oh, there it is! Only a short distance away, Dono, Philander, Clayton, Francois, and Professor Porter, together with the captured mutineer King, are frantically rowing their canvas-patched boats. It's so confounded, Doc. We can't see anything. Mais oui, monsieur. When those flashes of lightning light up the ocean, we can't see the ship. It's been several minutes now since we had a flash to locate our direction. We may be just rowing around in circles. Every time one of those waves hits the boat, uh, I think it'll be the last. Uh, the water is leaking through this canvas like a sieve. I, I mean water nearly up to my knees. But uh, we are headed in the right direction, monsieur. Yes. That flash showed the arrow dead ahead. But it looked to me as though we were still just as far away as before. I don't believe we've made any headway in the last ten minutes. And listen, those are shot dead from the ship. Then perhaps Tarzan reached the ship. The ape man's keen eyes catch the luminous glint of a triangular fin racing toward them. Tarzan shakes Jean loose from his shoulders. Swim for the shore again. Quickly, Tarzan grasps his knife. His steady gaze never leaves the swiftly moving fin. The shark sweeps closer. Suddenly, the fin disappears. Tarzan knows that the shark has turned on its back to seize him. Twisting like an eel, Tarzan turns, dives, plunges deep. He's under the shark. The black shape streaks over his head. Tarzan strikes. The bronze dog flashes up. He plunges his knife up to the hilt. The water frosts as the maddened shark lashes convulsively. Again and again, the bronze dog streaks through the water. Again and again, the gleaming blade sinks to the hilt. Tarzan! Tarzan! Oh, Tarzan! Jane cries out with relief as Tarzan's head appears above the water. Without a word, the ape-man takes Jane in his arms and strikes out for the shore. A racing breaker carries them high up on the beach, and Tarzan, rising to his feet, carries Jane beyond the fury of the breakers. Intermittently, vivid flashes of lightning illuminate the wild scene, revealing the arrow wallowing in the trough of the sea, the small boat pitching precariously on its mad venture. The tiny heads of the two swimmers a short distance away. Dono, Clayton, and King are rowing. The lander and Professor Porter are bailing frantically, occasionally straining their eyes into the darkness about them. Come on, King, pull! Lander, can you see anything? Are we nearing the ship? I can't see a thing, except when it lightens. There, there, off to the left. I saw two people swimming. Are you sure? I'm positive. 
I'm sure they're Jane and Tarzan. I saw her blonde hair. Oh, oh, call to them. Call to them. Jane. Jane. The longer you call, your voice is stronger than mine. Jane. Jane. Tarzan. They cannot hear you, monsieur. Row over to them quickly before Jane drowns. I'm sorry. Our boat could not live in the top of this sea. Donna is right, Professor. Uh, Then we might as well turn about and go back to the shore. I hope we can keep afloat long enough. These barrel staves seem to have sprung. I had no time, monsieur, properly to catch this boat. Can you take an oar now, Philander? Yes, yes, we'll have to hurry. We're waterlogged now. Head a little to the left, monsieur. I saw a reef ahead of us in that last flash. Now the water is simply pouring in at these seams, Darno. Ah, we are nearly arrived. A breaker! Look out for the professor, Francois. We, we, I have all the men. Is everyone all right? Yeah, we are here on the reef. So am I. Hanging on. Pull me up, Darno. Yes, yes. Here, your hand. Uh, and you, Professor Potter. I, I'm all right. Uh, Francois lifted me onto the rock. Now, walk along this reef after me, everybody. It is not safe here. Another breaker like that one will wash us all away. Can we make it, Darno? Yes. You, you see that white line? That's the shoreline. We may have to crawl on hands and knees part of the way. Uh, Lead on, Darno. We'll follow. All right. Hello. Hello. Holding Jane close to him, Tarzan speeds toward the little platform in the trees he had built at Poro so many weeks before. Conflicting emotions surge in the ape man's breast. In the stress of the flight to rescue Jane, he's not had much time to think. But now this girl, limp, unconscious, in his arms forces Tarzan to think of the strange ways of these Tarmangani. Since first Tarzan had rescued Jane from Turkos, he had expected to have to defend her from the jungle and its beasts, from Numa, from Sabor. That was natural. But to have to defend Jane against those of her own kind... Tarzan shakes his head in puzzled wonderment. It's all very strange and utterly opposed to the jungle's code. Numa and Sabor kill, yes, kill for meat, kill in defense of their mates and their young... But these Tarmangani kill, and kill for what? For hatred, for greed. Tarzan's thoughts are interrupted as the familiar jungle trail turns toward the hills. Out of the blackness looms the giant tree with its platform of twisted branches. Jane Porter stirs in the ape man's arms. What? Where am I? Tarzan! Tarzan! Jane, all right. No more frightened now. Oh, Tarzan. I can't remember. I must have been unconscious. I remember the shock. Oh, it was horrible. All over now. Jane, try and rest. Jungle beast. Not like Storm, Duma, Sabor, Tantor, all uneasy. I don't blame them. I never saw anything like it in my life. You ain't never see Jungle Storm? Never like this. Never, Tarzan. Better get on platform. Numa nervous, but Numa hungry. Easy catch here. Oh, I was so surprised at finding myself alive. Well, I never thought... Why didn't you take me to the hut, Tarzan? Tarzan, look after Jane here. But Tarzan, I must go to the hut. Daddy is sick. They will wonder what's happened to me. Clayton, Father, Darno, others, five Tom and Ganny, not able to look after Jane. Better stay here. Tarzan, look after Jane. No, Tarzan, I know that. But I'll be all right at the hut. Jane, stop at hut before, but not all right. That's true, Tarzan. But, Daddy, the others will think I'm dead. No, Tarzan, you must take me back. No. Tarzan, you never acted this way before. I don't understand you. Tarzan, love Jane. Tarzan, take Jane to hut. Tom and Ganny, come back. Father, others, not look after Jane. If Jane die, Tarzan, sad. Why, I don't know what to say, Tarzan. I understand what you mean. And from your standpoint, you're right. Jane not like stay in jungle? You make it very difficult, Tarzan. I can't leave my father. You hear that, Tarzan? Never. Yes. That's one of the reasons I don't like staying in the jungle. But Tarzan keeps Numa from hurting Jane. Oh, there's no use my trying to explain. I can't leave Daddy. 
I'm desperately afraid of the jungle beast. Oh, I don't know. I killed the snake and I fought Shinta. But inside Tarzan, I'm afraid. Jane, afraid jungle, but not afraid Tarman, Ganny? Oh, Tarzan. Her arguments are so much better than mine. But after all, I'm a woman, and all the arguments in the world won't change me. I must go to the hut to look after Daddy. Not tonight. Tomorrow, maybe. Now, Jane, tired. Go to sleep. Yes, Tarzan. I am tired. Tarzan, watch. Jane, no more frightened. <laughs> While Jane seeks the shelter of the alcove, secure in the knowledge that Tarzan will guard her against the jungle's perils, her father and his party are struggling against the seas which threaten to sweep them all away. Where's the king? He was right behind me a moment ago. Oh, he's here all right. Uh, This this reef is big enough to walk on. If only it did not come up so sharply out of the water. It's quite difficult to maintain one's footing. Oh, you guys were crazy to set off from shore in the first place. Well, it doesn't do any good to tell us that now. I want everyone. Here comes the big one. Oh, that's a bad one. And nothing to hang on to but this slippery rock. Uh, Can't we rest a moment? That, that one took my breath away. No, Professor. Let's try to get ashore as quickly as possible. Yes, this is decidedly an uncomfortable position. Uh, yes, I'll be glad to, to find solid ground under my feet again. Can you see anything ahead, Donna? Uh, not much, monsieur. Only a few meters. Uh, a break it off. Duck, everybody. Here comes a big breaker. <laughs> Does Tarzan mean to keep Jane in the jungle? And what of Clayton, Darno, and 